are the same firefighters who face peril and danger with the same grim determination and courage. London during the Blitz, newsreel showing resilience and heroism. But a new exhibition at the Museum of London shows a different side to the destruction. Alongside paintings from well-known war artists are some unexpected contributors, two city policemen. They were recording the damage to the city, um, uh, partially with an aim of recording it so that they could think about reconstruction work afterwards, I think. It's not known if these images were ever used to help rebuild. The destruction was potentially too great. London has been wounded during the hours of darkness, but what colossal strength runs in her veins? Even today, many of the images we usually see of the Blitz were recorded as propaganda. But these pictures were never meant to be seen by the public. A coat still hanging on the back of a door. They show a different side to the devastation, less defiant, more private. Bookcases intact in a sitting room ripped apart. London did rebuild after the Blitz, often along the exact same street lines that existed before. What's so striking about these photographs is that they show a city that's so familiar, destroyed in a way that none of us have ever experienced. You can't help looking at uh, images of, of bomb-damaged cities without thinking about wider political events, and uh, you know that, that's, that's inevitable, I think. This new exhibition shows a city destroyed by war, this time without the fanfare. Caroline Davis, BBC London News.